you're a racist. What? what? You don't like me because you think that I am an Arab. What? No. What are you talking about? Excuse like me. That. Wait. That oh, wait, boy. I, I, I am his mentor. I am so proud of you. What do you mean, a mentor? Don't worry about that. Okay, so what you got for him? James De Santa. Some kid. He is already late on his payments, and I have this bad feeling that he will do more damage to the car than we can get back from him in the exorbitant interest rate payments. Huh? Just go and get it. The house is on um, uh, Hampstead uh, off Eclipse. It's an SUV. Yeah. Some Rockford Hills daddy's boy nonsense. Don't worry about it. Try to bring the car back in good condition, huh? I got you. Don't worry about it. It's so good to see you, my boy. Hey, good luck in uh, law school, huh? So, Mr. Kenneth, where are we at? Uh, financing? Hey, did you change your mind? Listen, man, me and Lamar was gonna get that back to you, dawg. Man, it's never easy with you, is it, Simi? Just cause you have a massive gamer, bitch! Santa, a real pro. Well, you're a great student. Now just loosen up those hips. Okay, like this? Yeah, loosen them up. There you go. And follow through. Perfect. Oh, okay. I think I'm getting it. Ooh, okay, Amanda. All right, now just... Follow through. God, you got great hips. You know that? Follow through. Yeah, I could get used to this. <laughs> oh. Excellent. Yes. Now slide your head slowly into right here. It's right here.
Hey, Simeon, I got the ride, man. I'm coming back. That's a 9mm semi-automatic pushed against your skull. Huh? Well, look around. You just keep driving where you're going. Hey, come on, man. This was a repo job. Guy was behind on his fucking note. Unlikely, considering my son just got the car. And looking at the way you're going about this, my guess, you're working a credit fraud. A credit fraud? Be serious, dude. I just worked the fucking repo. I appreciate a kid who follows orders without taking responsibility. Yeah, maybe one day we'll have a beer, and I'll explain how the world really works. Who gives you the slip? A car dealer, dog, by the name of Simeon Yateri. So this businessman, he looked legit to you? Look, man, it's just between him and your fucking son. Don't worry. Me and Mr. Yatarian, we'll work this out. That the place? Yeah, this the place, man. Oh, drive into it, right through the fucking window, and fast, or I'll put two rounds in the back of your skull and do it myself. Man, you can't be for real. I look like a fucking joke to you. Man, fuck my life, man, fuck you. Hey, I still got this gun to your head. Shitty situations, dog! Franklin, what the fuck are you doing? Mr. Sammy, it's not exactly how it looks. I always trump big for a job well done. Now get out of here, kid. You motherfucker! Simeon Yaterian doesn't die. Oh. I'm within the lines of... Ah. Uh. I spit on punks like you. <laughs> <laughs> You've gone mad! See now, you f- You recognize this car? Huh? Does it look like it's worth five grand a month to you? You fucking racist! I'm telling you, this thing's gonna need some serious body work before it's worth five grand a month. <laughs> He agreed to financing I have his signature. Yeah, did he agree to have some punk break into my fucking house? I, I don't know. I, uh... That kid might be a fucking idiot, but you are a fraudulent scumbag piece of shit. Ugh. Don't make me have to come back here. Uh. Excuse me!
what you want. Man, I'll come by for that drink you offered, that's all. I wasn't really serious about that. What? Uh, you're here, whatever. Sit. You're not gonna rob me again. Man, I never robbed you. That was just a repossession. <laughs> okay. You call it whatever you want to call it. I really don't care. What can I do for you? Shit, I just came by to see if there's something I can help you with. I see you doing well for yourself. Look, I'm retired. Ain't you a bit young for the pipe, slippers, and staring at a fucking sunset? You know, I've been in this game for a lot of years. And I got out alive. That makes me the right age. <clears throat> you look like a good kid. But if you want my advice, give the shit up. You work hard, screw over everybody that you love. Hurt, rob, kill indiscriminately, and maybe, just maybe if you're lucky, you become a three-bit gangster. It's bullshit. Go to college. Then you can rip people off and get paid for it. It's called capitalism. Hmm. So what I saw the other day was like, when a corpse briefly reanimates itself and terrorizes everyone, right? What you saw the other day was a guy dealing with pests. I guess I never saw myself as just a fucking pest. Well, and today's lesson's all about humility. Tomorrow we'll try a training montage. A training what? Nothing. I was just lost in an 80s movie fantasy. <laughs> yeah, I can see you spend a lot of time there. Yeah, as much as I can. So that's why you're here in Vinewood then, right? Maybe I'm here because I'm just an idiot who thinks that imported palm trees are a good substitute for not really knowing what the fuck you're doing on this earth. Jesus, man. You a good time, you know that. I tell you what. <sighs> Least I can do is buy you that beer. There's a little bar I like. <sighs> it's not too far from here. Let's go. All right, man. I'm following you. Let's take Amanda's car. Hey, Jim. I'm going for a drink with... What? The yacht's been stolen? You're insane! All right, I'm coming for my boat. All righty then. Change of plans. My darling boy is in trouble. I do what I can to help with that, man. Lesson number one: Don't ever have kids. Hey, man, look. If I had kids, I don't think no parenting issues would arise over who had boat privileges and who don't. Shit, motherfuckers would be lucky to sit in the bathtub. Shit, things that desperate, huh? Nah, oh, but. No shit, I was making a point. Mythologizing self-deprecation. I know it well. Yeah, man, but shit, where the boat at? Little shit's been hijacked. There's somewhere on the Western Highway. Man, ain't you worried? About my boat? Yeah, I am. But you can always buy another boat. Yeah, tell my accountants that. Man, you can always get credit for one. But have you come repo it? No, thank you. <laughs> All right, homie. I ain't your homie. I'm someone you want to impress. Really? Man, I thought you was retired. Why the fuck do I want to impress some slipper-wearing motherfucker? Drug wars between Hispanic gangs have reignited more if this was simply a... T oh! There! There! There it is! That's my boat! Yo, boat's in a fucking hurry, man! Yeah, well, we'll catch him! We got a plan? Sure. Once I get us up close, you're the boarding party. More like the falling in traffic party. You'll be fine. Anything happens, I got a piece of the glove box. I'll cover you. Oh, yeah, man, fine. Just fucking fine. So you thought of everything, right? Well, you said you want to learn the old way of doing things. This is the old way. I can't do this shit from here. Get the boat. Man, your woman mind you scraping her shit up like this? Hold on. I'm not up here for fun. They get me near the damn boat. Go oh, oh, now. Oh. Hey, you want me to do this shit? You better get me closer, man. I'd rather you don't slip under the wheels, all right? I can't do this shit from here. Get me close. Hey, I don't want your death on my conscience, kid. I'm not up here for fun. Oh, fuck this. 
Chop shop back there, dog. You drive us there, we can get the ride fixed. My boat. It's just a thing. My boat. Please stop doing that. Listen, I fucked up, okay? I'm not going to lie. That was a really bad judgment call. But shit, Dad, I nearly died. And all you give a shit about is this fucking boat. No, it's not that. It's all we do is scream at each other. No wonder I can't get a job. It's all your fucking fault. Or, it's not, but it's partly your fault. I, I mean, I just want to impress you. By selling my boat to some gangbangers? I know it sounds dumb when you put it like that, but all you do is daydream or get angry. Look, I love you. Hey, you gotta look out, Glow. Like you're an asshole. And right now, with my boat disappearing over the horizon, that's all I can see. Franklin, do you do me a favor and get this kid a ride home after they fix this thing? I want to head but the road in peace. Oh, great! Leave me with the home invader! I'll get it done, dog. No problem. Dad! Enough! All right? Enough! Franklin, do me a favor. Call me a taxi, will you? Sure thing, man. Hey, I need a cab as soon as you can What's send one. What's wrong with you? Los Santos Customs, by the airport. All right, thanks. Thanks, man. Hey, so you, uh, do much yachting? Not anymore. No, I don't. Before, I mean, man. Eh? No, no, not really. This little shit stays in his room all day, and I don't have any other people what to go. Hey, man, we got some body work done. I like looking at it. Looking? Yeah. You know, I come down to the marina, sit on the dock, pour myself a drink, and look at her. Hey, this the place up here. I know this dude, man. His name How. He gonna look after him. So you sure you're good? Yeah, I got this. Right. Ooh, uh, I'm gonna come up front. Get out and walk around. It's okay, I can just climb over. Look, man, I'm gonna get the ride fixed, man. They dropped it back off at your house along with this dude. It's all good, though, man. You gonna get your head right, all right? All right, listen, thanks for today. I appreciate it. You stop back out to the house, we'll talk. Ugh, you see? So, man. Hey, sorry we didn't get your boat, man. Yeah. Come on, man, let's trick this whip, homie.
trick this whip or what? Still need to get you out for one of the races, Franklin. See if you drive as fast as you talk. Good All right. New. Good as new. Take you home now. It's Franklin, right? Yeah, Franklin. All the credit for our guy. The home invader. You know what? Call me what you like, man. Yeah, I, I, no, I, I mean, sure. Jimmy, ain't he? Or James? Jimmy? Or just like, Jizzle? <laughs> nah, man, I'll just stick with Jimmy, homie. So, uh, what's the deal, man? Huh? You and my old man? I see you at the dealership. And someone steals my whip, and Pop is all like, he's been down there to talk to you guys. Your Pops did more than talk. What'd he do? Look, man, if he ain't tell you, I ain't gonna tell you. But I lost my fucking job, and I thought maybe he could help me find a new one. Dude, my dad is retired. Like, fully? Like, his only marketable skills are watching TV and daytime drinking. <sighs> man, look, I don't know, homie. He seems okay to me. Shit, he saved your ass. You saved my ass. Oh, no, man. Well... Well, maybe we good together, you know? Like, maybe we can get shit done we couldn't do separately. If it keeps him out of the house, that's cool by me. <sighs> yeah, well, we'll see. Fuck! Oh, I'm sorry my dad lost to your job. It's hard out there. Tough. I mean, I'm employmentally challenged at the moment. Oh, you got fired, dude. Damn, that's rough. Not fired as such. I didn't get a job. I've been there, homie. You've been putting them resumes out there, but no one's hiring, huh? No, I, uh, I didn't get a job. I've never had a job. It feels like hard work. Life, the days just kind of disappear. Hey, you play Righteous Slaughter? Yo, so, like, since we're both unemployed, like, we could run together, you know? Yeah, I think about it, homie. Or, or we could just, like, shop it, you know? Play darts or get our drink on. Strip clubs. Come on, dude, I get real crazy. Yeah, I got your number, shit. I need it, man, but, uh... Hey, hey, you know what? Man, go easy on your pops, dog. all right? All right, church. <laughs> exactly, man. My brother from another mother. I mean, I, I hope so, because my mom was kind of a skank back in the day. See ya. Yeah, whatever, homie. Peace. <laughs>